everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of the Pal World series. And I am starving, apparently, so let's fix that by eating some raw animal meat, like you do. <laughs> you know, I forgot about this. I got an Incineram in the previous series from a raid. He kind of derped out at the dungeon down there, and um, he crafts at an insane speed. It's not even vaguely comparable to everything else. What else did he have? Oh god, <laughs> the noises. Okay, so he can kindle, craft, mine, and transport. He's like the perfect creature. Now, if only the mining was level 2, then I would try to fill my base with them. Not that I really know where to get them, but I would still try. Where are you going? <laughs> I bumped into him and he ran around all the workbenches. Hold on, let's do this again. Go ahead and go over there, buddy. No? Okay, we'll try again. Walk into here. Yep. <laughs> And now he has to walk all the way around. Alright, you keep doing that. I'm gonna build more pal beds. As far as I understand, the pals prefer these fluffy beds because when they rest, they regain more sanity. And if they regain more sanity while sleeping, it means I don't have to worry as much about feeding them proper food or caring about their mental health or whatever else. The only thing I really need is the nails. I think we'll stop there with the beds, though. That will be enough. Hmm. Let's go ahead and collect the wood. And Wow, 1,000 stone just chilling right here. Nice. Let's go ahead and get this wood as well. Put it in there. All right. <laughs> I like that. And, oh, yeah. That was one of my objectives. That's why I was crafting the beds. I can now upgrade my base again. Level 13. Okay, we need a sphere assembly line and a power generator. This is where we're going to build our second floor. Because, well, I don't want to have everything cramped up in here. It would be kind of annoying. And we need a way for the pals to get up to the second floor, which means I'm probably going to end up moving this hot spring at some point. Because then I want to build over here. Uh, maybe we'll just do a normal wall so the pals can't walk themselves out. Oh, there's a tree in the way. There's always something, isn't there? There is indeed. Let's see if I can get this without falling. Yes, I can. I'm not getting any of the wood. <laughs> it's all down there. I'm gonna grab it so the pals don't think to. Run down there and collect it. Then get stuck. They seem derpy enough to do something like that. They're definitely derpy enough. Let's go ahead and put walls here. Not enough support. Excuse me? What do you mean? Not enough support here as well. Isn't that a whole foundation? Oh, it's a ceiling. All right. Well, I'm over it. Now we need some stairs right here. And the plan is to, yes, go too high. Because if we get taller, bigger pals, we want them to be able to comfortably move around. And normally I would try to make the base out of stone, but... <laughs> Uh oh, hold on. I have to get rid of these stairs so I can place the walls properly. This, like, so. Because apparently if you put the stairs down first, you can't put down the wall. I don't know why. It's just how it is. We have to run back around here to get the proper placement. Like that. Normally I would make this out of stone, but it appears as though this particular base is causing their AI to bug out during raids. So I'm not really worried about the base catching on fire. Unintentionally cheesing a small portion of the game. But, well... We're going to have other bases. When those get rated, we'll get a proper rated reaction. Until then, we'll have to just deal with the fact that I accidentally picked a bug spot. For anybody watching, keep in mind that you may accidentally trivialize raids at a certain base if you build in an elevated platform. I think the only way that they've operated properly is when they came across that bridge, so it's entirely RNG based on where they spot, whether or not they're going to function properly. Let's go ahead and hatch this egg. See what kind of fire creature we get. Our socks. R socks. What does that do? Sounds pretty cool. R uh, sort. Here it is. Two kindling for the furnace, so it cooks faster than anyone else. And it has one wood cutting. Can be ridden, keeps the rider warm in cold environments. So we might want to keep him in mind if we end up going into a winter biome. Which I'm sure we will at some point. Eventually. Where's the roof? Right here. Going to be doing a little bit of a base expansion in this episode. And by a little bit, I mean... <laughs> Probably most of the episode. Because I don't just want the second floor, I want at least a third and maybe even a fourth floor. Is this going to line up properly? No, we'll come over here. Because, well, we need multiple floors. As you can see, it's easy to fill up one floor with a lot of things. I also have to keep an entire portion of where my base can be unoccupied because of the ore over there. If I put foundations down so I can fill up ceilings and more floors, then the ore will not spawn in. So I have to work around that. Small price paid for having a resource in your home. Base. Whatever. It's a worthwhile payment, though. Honestly. Uh, this seems to line up with everything else. Keep going. And I 
think that this is going to be the end of this particular floor. Wait, hold on. It says my pen king on the right there hasn't eaten anything in a while, and I don't know why. They should be able to reach the food just fine. Where is he? Did, <laughs> did he fall underneath the base or something? Where? Hold on a moment. Then look over here. I feel like I hear somebody moving or attempting to move and failing. Where is he? I'm just going to assume that he fell through the map, so I'm going to remove and re-add it. It's probably for the best. It's the easiest way to fix things at your base, it seems. Let's go ahead and... Where is he? Oh yeah, we have another slot here as well. Don't we? Where? Pen King. Unassign, reassign. Get back to work, you silly goose. Hmm. Should we? Probably. I'm wondering if we should have the R socks out and functional at the base, or if we should put somebody else at work. We do have quite a few miners. Wouldn't hurt to have another one, because they're starting to touch the ore, but not a lot of it. Oh, that's right. We can get another miner. Let's go to this guy, the Pen King. See if we can't catch him, because they have two mining. Which could be a great benefit. Might as well take the challenge while we can. While we're at it, we could see if this Incineram is any good at combat. Go Incineram. Uh, he's doing alright, I guess. This is very much a bad typing situation. Oh, Penguin. Try to take out the little ones first. Ouch. Try to catch this one while I'm here. Oh yeah, no, he, <laughs> he's low level and bad typing. This ain't the time. So we'll use the T-Fant. Whoa, my frame rate. <laughs> this is chaotic with how many of the little ones are kicking around here. Should start throwing spheres at them all willy-nilly. Hey, get away from me, penguin! Come on now. You can do better than that. Alright, me and the T-Fant versus the Pen King. I don't have to worry about the T-Fant doing too much damage to him, because it's a water type versus an ice type. Or water, ice, whatever. He's kind of both. Right, now let's go for the bird. Switching them out before they die allows them to recover health instead of just dying permanently in your team. Uh, we'll stop there. Now it's just me. Oh, that was close. Yeah, this is very easy once it's just the Pen King. He doesn't have enough AoE-style attacks to really be dangerous. Most of it's pretty heavily choreographed. And that should do. Now we start attempting to catch. With an 18% chance at base, it's not too bad. <laughs> he tackled his little friend. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of funny. Here, I'll, I'll pass it back if I can. I can just, I can just slide this over to him. Come on. <laughs> oh wait, we caught him. I got distracted playing soccer with a penguin. Pretty standard issue, really. Anyways, he didn't appear to have too many negative side effects, or any, actually. Which means we now have an improved miner. Is that a Kremis I see off in the distance? Yeah, no need to mess with it. <laughs> Sliding down these stairs is a little janky. Just a little bit. Alright, we'll put the Pen King inside this base. Now we have two boss Pen Kings here. Yeah, so he only has his cold-blooded, so no negatives. Got that taken care of. Let's apply this level up. While we're at it, we should probably see what we need. In terms of leverage and XP for the sphere assembly line. Power generator, that was one of the things, we'll learn that. We need one more level. Then we'll be able to make the sphere assembly line and craft hyperspheres, which requires cement, a poor substitute. Well, works for me. One more level won't take too long, right? But, well, it might take a little bit, we'll see. I'm going to go to the other base and assign another crevice so that they can continue to produce wool. Right over... Here, just assign this one, not too worried about it. Suppose we could take this time to collect more of the palace spheres and wool, arrows, gold, etc. Now we can take it back to the other base and get the crafting done. As the wool is a direct translation to cotton. And we want loads and loads of cotton. I find it weird that some of the items randomly produce outside of the ranch, which... Why? And how? Do they, like, explode from the creatures when they spawn? Is that how it works? That could be it. Let me check the feed box. Oh yeah, they're fine. If 400 baked berries isn't enough, then I don't know what is. Honestly. In total, we got another 89 wool. It's quite a bit. Really, it is quite a grip. Uh, open the chest. Zip open. There we go. Take this wool. Hey, I have an egg here. I have multiple eggs? Why? <laughs> Why do I have eggs here? Also, I'm lacking a bed. Let's fix that real quick. Where are the beds? Fluffy bed? No. 
straw beds. This should probably be the least stressed variation of my bases, because again, all they do is walk around and eat food. That's it. That's their entire job. So, there's no reason for them to be losing their sanity, as far as I can tell. Oh god, why am I crafting this myself? Incineram. Go. <laughs> He's so much faster than me. Alright, that's taken care of. Now we need a level up, which means we need to catch more things. But on top of that, we also need to continue expanding the base a bit. Hmm. We have a lot of things we have to do, actually. Let's see how much wheat we have. If I check in here, 59. Not enough. Definitely not enough. Hmm. Let's try to craft maybe another 300 baked berries or so. Sure. There we go. Eat our own food. Get nice and full. Feeding Aethir to an Aethir like you do. Pretty standard issue stuff. Let's toss an egg in the incubator. A large damp egg. Large damp or large dark? Do large damp. 40 minutes for that one. It's gonna be a while. Put these away. Take my 140 wool and craft some more cotton. Cloth. Whatever. Clothton. 70. Let's get those going. Incineram, do your thing. Uh, actually, hold on. I can craft a mega shield. It's pretty cheap, too. Though, that's actually a good point. Another one of the reasons I wanted to get a pen king over another tombat for mining is the multi-purpose, multi-faceted function. I can now convert the absolute boatload of stone, which I wasn't planning on getting this much, but I can convert this into pallium. It's just a matter of how much I want to sacrifice. It's five stone for one pallium. And I think somewhere around 700 should do. Sure, there we go. It leaves us with nearly another 2,000 stone to work with. Something like that. But that's being taken care of and on the way. Gigasphere. Giga. Hmm, this takes ingots. Ooh, gross. I would need to make a bunch of ore for this, but that's the only way I'm going to be able to realistically catch more of those robin quills and other such things. So I think it's about time I do a bit of a mining spree myself. Because we need ingots and a lot of them. If we can get enough, then we can produce an insane amount of those gigaspheres. Which will be exclusively for stronger creatures, because as you can see, I have an insane amount of the normal spheres. So much so that I don't think I'll be needing more in a long, long time. Also, hey, what? why isn't anyone cooking? Should I unassign someone and get another heated one in here? Probably. This thing is grazing, and I don't want it to stop, honestly. Getting those flame organs for free? Pretty nice. So... Hmm. Let's unassign this tombat and put in that... Where's the thing? The... Other socks. You, get cooking, good looking. There you go. Oh yeah, he's way faster than the other thing. It's literally double. Okay. So if we can move up tiers in the crafting skills, the base work, the work suit abilities or whatever, it makes a massive change in the efficiency of your base. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I'm going to have to start looking around for stronger creatures. I'm pretty sure one of the best things to have is the Anubis. I don't know what the rest of its things are, but I'm pretty sure it has at least three in the handicrafting and three in mining. Which means that it can help you craft everything at your base, and it can also dig all of these ore for you. Probably close to two times the speed that the Tombats can. So it's just a straight upgrade. You can't lose. Go ahead and collect all but one of these, and then set it up to be cooked, and then maybe go around and catch some things for XP. Well, my pals, catch some Zs once the sun goes down. Yeah, it seems like the best bet. Come on, just, just break already. Is everybody all fed? They are. Good. Oh, I was one swing away, of course. Oh crap, I thoroughly over-encumbered myself. Whoops. Well, let's very slowly and menacingly walk our way to the chest. Just, all we need is a very large explosion behind me and it'll set everything in place. Let's collect this, cancel, and reset it to cook. Come back, our socks. It's not worth it. No, oh, leave the heater alone, damn it. <laughs> oh, get back over there. Hey, hey, you have more important things to do. Why can't I pick him up? Thought that was a whole thing. Pick him up, come on. Our socks, I need you to do your work. Where, where is he? Right here. You, unassigned, reassigned. There you go. And a boy. Yeah, you get to cook in that ore. And we'll spend the night running around catching things. Maybe we should. You know, it's sure. We'll craft a handful of these gigaspheres. For now, that is the goal. Incineram is done with the cotton, so he can work on the spheres now. Cloth, whatever. <laughs> I need more nails, too. I need quite a few different things. For now, I guess I'll help him with the spheres. 
trying to get at least 10 of them, and then go into that upper north area, see if we can't find some stronger creatures, capture them with these new bigger better spheres, and at the same time get more wheat seeds, so that we can put the wheat up here, up on that second floor, and well, get that production going. We want anything that will boost the sanity of our creatures at the base. If their sanity is boosted, they'll work faster and better harder. Man, crafting these balls is really slow. Maybe we'll just take five. Maybe. Oh man, it is very slow. Oh, my patience has already hit rock bottom. After we craft this one, I'm taking them and leaving. The Robin Quill can get through the effort of crafting those later. <laughs> I don't want to sit around and wait at all. I was about to say, shouldn't you all be going to sleep? Anyways, let's go ahead and head to the north and enjoy ourselves a bit of a catching spree. Actually, you know what? There's a boss up here. Let's try fighting that thing. <laughs> what level are we? We are level 26. Random Depresso, huh? Ouch. We fast travel away before he kills me. Something else going to attack me? I keep hearing noises. Though? Oh, there's one of those grin tails. Like out in the wild. Ooh. Alright, start getting distracted. We're gonna go fight that boss thing. It was... Straight north, wasn't it? Yes. Watch out for the terrain. It's easy to get caught on things. Straight north. What is that? Catrus. Eh, check it out later. I want to fight a boss. Ooh. Lift monk effigy. I'll take that. And now, let's see what's in here. Hopefully, nothing too bad. Let's go ahead and figure out what this thing has in store. I think we'll start with the Incineram, since he's the weakest, but also type effective. It's sleeping. <laughs> you can catch the bosses sleeping. That's awesome. Get him. Get him, Incineram. Stop derping out. Go on. Get it. Yeah. And... Oh, that was weak as hell. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at my damage. This is gonna suck. I should have brought grenades or something. What are you doing? Why are you trying to get close to me? Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's why. This might have been a bad idea. Just maybe. No, I'm gonna hold F and see what that ability does. Get him in Cineram. Holding F. Do the thing. Go. <laughs> Not much. Well, you know, he's kind of putting up a fight. We're doing okay-ish damage. Oh dear, he's about halfway down. Already halfway there. Halfway there. Oh crap, he got wasted. Then I'm next. Okay, T-Fant, go. It's bad typing. Water versus grass is kind of an L. But I'm gonna let him do everything that he can for me right now. Oh. Then when his health gets low, we'll give him time to recover. Hey, you're not hitting me with something then, choreographed. Why are you getting closer? Stop it. I don't like it. Ouch. I really don't like that <laughs> weird grass gatling gun thing he's doing. Well, considering I only do one damage per shot, I guess I should just stop charging them. Makes the most sense. I'm only doing three damage at a time. <laughs> get away from me with a gatling gun crap. I mean, the T-Fan's only doing eight. We're going to get something stronger out real quick. Try the Nightwing. See what he's got going on. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Rolling through it like Dark Souls seems to work the best. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like the Nightwing is doing better damage. Pretty verifiably. I'm gonna run out arrows before this thing dies. Maybe I should be charging it down with my bow. I mean my spear. Sure, let's try it. How much damage do we do? One damage. Yeah. That's, that's what I like to see. Yeah, you keep doing that, I'll be pinging you back here. I only have to stab it a thousand six hundred times. Okay, that's enough, Nightwing. Time for the Dire Howl. Let's see what he's got. You know what, maybe it'll be more efficient. Nah, I'm not gonna ride him. It's a bad idea. They're doing basically all of the work for me. I'm trying to do my ones, but <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Oh dear. It tickles me with one of those many, many Gatling shots, and I, uh, I just start dipping in health. Ooh, ouch. Just keep stabbing it in the ass like you do. I definitely need stronger equipment now. I, as the player, have gotten too weak. My pals are still going up, though. Okay, next, let's go for the deer. See how good it is with me riding him. Oh, God. That attack is slow as hell. Let's go ahead and leave the deer to fight for itself. It seems better than me. It's at least less likely that I'll get entirely destroyed if I'm not riding it. You doing this thing again? Yep. Do your gatling. Nice. Keep going. I'm assuming- oh god, the, the pillars don't even block the spheres. They, those bubbles just fly through them. 
This is a little rough. We've only got it about halfway. Maybe I should go back to the bow. Ooh, <laughs> the deer knocked it down. That's awesome. I guess just keep charging and aiming for the head. Occasionally I get two damage. Bubbles, go this way, dodge back toward them. Yeah, Dark Souls. Oops. Come on, deer, I need you to keep attacking. You're like our entire DPS. Okay, his health is low. Back to the elephant. Ouch. Okay, elephant, hold F, heal me. There you go. That's great. Oh, I can't dodge roll because of those vines. That's rough. Okay, you run this way, dodge toward. That's better. <laughs> the elephant's like, oh, I have that move too. Oh man, taking that Gatling to the face is a huge mistake. Really huge. Okay, elephant's low, back to the Nightwing. Run around. Okay, you don't even have to dodge that much with the bu uh, bubbles. That grass stuff though, that's a different story. Oh man, my health is real low. Just like the Nightwing do most of the work over there. We've almost got it. Yeah, go Nightwing. <laughs> do that work. Loving it. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna watch out for that. That would have been the end of the entire thing. Uh, I'm only gonna let the Nightwing take one more attack. Yeah, that should do. On to the Dire Howl. Just gonna stay behind this pillar like a coward. <laughs> let my friends do the work for me. Like you do. What do you want? Thing? Ouch. Damn. <laughs> It was like, hmm, I haven't damaged him in 30 seconds. Let's go fix that. Keep going, Dire Howl. You almost got him. Would have been great if I hadn't let the Incinerim die right at the beginning. He was doing pretty good damage. In comparison to the others, at least. Alright, that's enough. On to the deer. Who immediately started taking the brunt of those bubbles. Well done. Whoa. Watch it, buddy. We're getting there. Only 500 more health to go. And the deer just face tanks some attacks. Nice. More bubbles. This is probably the easiest one to dodge. Just run toward at an angle. And the deer is just eating that. A lot of the T-Fant again. Actually, come here, T-Fant. I want you to heal me. Do the thing. boy. He didn't heal much. It was, it was like 200 HP. Okay, now attack. Stop derping out. What are you doing? Oh, dear. Okay. Now, T-Fant, attack. Come on. Do something. Do the thing. <laughs> there you go. I mean, this is working. Switching them out so that they can heal. If I can avoid getting hit as the main priority, then I can technically fight forever. If you want to do your Gatling gun thing, do it. Go ahead. I don't care. Don't mean a thing. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of arrows. Ooh, the bubbles. No, oh, don't get hit. Don't get hit. I think that attack will kill me if I face tank it. Almost got it. 250 to go. On to the Dire Hell. Easy peasy. Oh, that was not good. 200 health to go. Should I do your Gatling thing? Go ahead. Oh, oh I almost got <laughs> I almost got marked there. On to the deer. Oh, crap. Well, 150 HP. That is doable. We've almost got it. <laughs> so many of my pals just face tank that Gatling thing. Whoa! Should probably stop soon, right about here. Okay, what's our strongest ball? The Giga. Watch out for the bubbles, watch out for the bubbles. Okay, we have an 18% chance. 50%? First try. Not bad at all. Now let's get the hell out of here. That took way longer than expected. <laughs> This has been episode 16 of the Power World series. Why am I being attacked? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, this has been episode 16 of the Power World series. Now that I'm not being interrupted, a bit delayed. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.